Hey, this is Max. I'm back with another CSR2 video. Tempest 3 Tier 1 Mazda Miata. I am up to the 310 bracket level. 310 is your limit. I have it set up to 309, basically same as my other uh, setup from the original video. Uh, here I'm running stage 4 trans, so I can put 555 for engine turbo and intake. I'm still keeping body stock. So at this point, what I found with the tuning is that you have to adjust the tuning a little bit because you have a lot more power. You're still keeping stage three tires. So what happens is that you can no longer run this at 55 tire or 53 tire because you'd be very limited in EVO points. And that's not going to get you very far. So what you're going to have to do is start increasing grip to a point where the EVO does not increase anymore. I found that actually it gets pretty low. You can go to uh, 32 almost and get a 13.285 out of it and this is what uh, again the same final gear ratio utilizing fourth gear at 2.66 it could be potentially tweaked for a little more but I think 2.66 is where it's really doing the best nitrous 4.0 to 4.2 seems to work the best you start to go lower it actually makes it less effective so i left it at 4.2 here so how many fusions am i running i am now up to 13 fusions and most of them being uh the uncommon with two rares in so here you're looking at 13 fusions that'll get you through and what are the fusions well i managed to get a rare engine which actually was quite useful and a rare turbo, which was quite useful, and an extra common turbo, which really cinched the deal. Without this extra common turbo, I'm going to be cutting it very close to the target number. It's almost impossible to beat the target number that you want. Also, the nitrous at this point is filled up. In fact, during this part, I got two more uncommon nitrous, which is totally useless at this point because the nitrous is already filled. The body has the two uncommons, but it's not being brought into play. I actually think I have a rare as well, but none of this is being brought into play yet. And tire was only that one tire on common I got. And trans, I have nothing. I wish I could get some trans because that's going to be a big deal when it comes to trying to beat these target numbers down the line. So having this rare engine and this rare turbo really went a long way to get me moving forward. So let's take a look at the uh, stats here. In this bracket, the final run is the Bosch run, which is against Rico, 13.353 he runs. At the current level of tune, after gaining some fusions during the event from uh, the race of 20 to 30, I am down to 13.286. The tire is now adjusted. So will the car run it? Yes, it will. Now, in the 300 bracket, we already re uh, configured the final drive to run in fourth gear. So now when you drive this car, you run nitrous in third gear rather than second, like in 285 PP. And again, we're not running that many fusions yet. I'm up to 13 fusions at this point, but um, your mileage may vary because if you have different fusions, you may ha actually have an easier time. Or if you have fusions that you can't bring into play, you may have a worse time than I am. So this is one of the first brackets where you can really really get stuck if the game give you some kind of bad duplicates that you can't seem to get installed uh, you might be really stuck where you couldn't beat rico for some time until you either get lucky and pull a key uh, pull a fusion somewhere through keys or some other way uh, so again 310 bracket not the worst but not the easiest the main thing i noticed is that as i added more power I have to adjust the tire. I don't know if that was done in the original video. I know that if you're running all the tire fusions, you have a lot more grip, and you may in fact be here rather than here for the tire tune. So play with the tune to try to get the best time possible. So that 10 races went pretty fast, and that puts me right at the gate of the 324 PP, which I'm gonna work on next. At the current level of tune and upgrade, when you walk into the next challenge without upgrading, you're looking at very hard. So that tells you that these, these 
challenges coming up are going to be at least 13.3 or faster. Uh, going to have to get some upgrades together. Almost all my upgrades now I can throw in will not have fusions in it. So um, body may have to come into play. I'll have to play with it. And I will update that in the next video. So this concludes the 300 to 310 jump in PP, which is uh, race number 21 to 30 that you'll be facing. It looks like you should be able to make it through so long as the green fusions and blue fusions you pull during these 10 races are not absolute dupes that it cannot be installed somewhere. Well, good luck with this part. Um, I hope you don't get stuck and we can move forward. I actually got stuck pretty good for a bit until I realized I needed to adjust tire again. Uh, so I was sitting at the race 27, scratching my head for about 20 minutes and playing with the tunes. And you may end up doing that as well, depending on what fusions you have and what upgrades you can stick on for this bracket. Well, feel free to comment and uh, leave me your feedback on your experience with this part. And again, we're at 13 fusions out of 32, moving towards 324 PP bracket being the next one. Please um, leave a like if you like the video and uh, certainly subscribe to the channel so that you get notifications as I put more videos up. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.